Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. So, my truck is having issues right now. Um, I spent the last 45 minutes trying to get this truck started, and it's not doing anything. So, it's not kicking on. It's not cranking over. It's not cranking at all, actually. Um, all I'm getting is nothing. I mean, so basically, um, I'm at this hotel right now. Um, and, uh, parked it, went to my room for, say, a couple hours, came back out, tried to stop the car, get something to eat, and nothing. So, I'm getting, you know, um, getting nothing, actually. Um, all, everything works on the car. Um, everything, all the lights on the dash seems to be fine. The, um, radio works. Um, you know, the blow works, the blow motor works, everything works, except um, all I'm getting is uh, a, a click. I'm just hearing a click. So basically, I, I did a little bit of troubleshooting. I went out, um, looked at, uh, turned the headlights on, checked out the headlights, and the headlights are, are really bright, just really, really bright. And I was like, man, originally I thought maybe it's the battery, uh, maybe I left the lights on or whatever. But um, I'm pretty sure I didn't. I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't. <clears throat> anyway, just to be sure about it, I did uh, get somebody to uh, try to jump the car for me and uh, got the car jumped. <clears throat> um, didn't do anything. Um, had the cables on the battery for about a minute. Um, originally, I had tried to jump it as soon as it hooked up, but then I waited a couple of minutes and tried to turn over and it didn't do anything it did the same thing <clears throat> so at that point I knew it wasn't the battery the battery um, was fine um, and you know prior to that I did try to try to uh, start it like about 10 times uh, nothing works and uh, so it's not the battery um, obviously it's not the battery so it's definitely at this point it's not the alternator either because uh, I had situations where the alternator went out, and uh, normally the my my car's running, and you know my car's running and stuff like that. It's always you know alternators die out on you when you know your car's running for the most part. Um, but just in case, you know, um, if you had to do a test on it, once you put the cables to it to jump it, it should jump as long as you have the cables on the battery. Once you take the cables off, the car would die out that's when you know it's the alternator that's the issue but none, none of that stuff happens so the alternator uh, is not uh, the problem with this it's not the battery it's not the alternator so I'm I'm lifting back with a couple of uh, thoughts on this um, so more troubleshooting I thought maybe it would be the um, a fuse or a relay but then if I, I try to troubleshoot that and like could it be the relay I mean, normally if you hear a click coming from the, the starter, normally when you do hear that click, when you when you try to turn it on, you hear a click. Normally it's the solenoid on the starter um, firing off. So if the if the solenoid on the starter is firing off, you know for a fact that um, it's not, definitely not um, the, the, the relay that's a problem because the relay is prim primarily, the relay relays the electricity um, from the battery to the starter. Um, if you hear a click, it means that electricity is getting to the starter. It's just um, the starter is not running. So I, I ruled, I pretty much ruled the relay out. I can pretty much rule the relay out. I'm like 99% sure it's not the relay. So my last thing that I could think of, I mean, the last thing that I could think of as far as, you know, common sense things, as far as, you know, cars on having issues starting and stuff like that, not cranking, would be um, a fuse. Now, I'm thinking it could be the fuse, but... Um, I don't think it is the fuse. Reason being is, um, reason being, I don't think it's the fuse is because. Um, so I've had a couple issues with fuse fuses before, where the where the fuse blew, my car wouldn't start. But the two issues are kind of different as far as the symptoms were concerned. Basically, the previous issues I had with fuses, as it that as it. Um, pertain to situations like this is um, I had like a blown a main blown fuse where nothing on the car 
um, you know, I had like nothing on the car, like no electricity on the car at all, nothing on the dash, nothing. It was like as, as if somebody took the cables off the battery and I had no electricity going through the car whatsoever. That was one situation. Um, and uh, I solved that by changing up the fuse and then everything started up just fine without a problem. But that's not the problem here. So the other situation I have with the fuse is, um, uh, you know, it cranked up. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't turn over. You know, it kept on cranking. It wouldn't turn over. I could crank it. It wouldn't turn over. Crank it. It wouldn't turn over. Now, that situation, you know, there was a, there could be like a lot of reasons causing, you know, a lot of different reasons for that situation. One of the, one of it would be the fuel pump, um, a computer related issue, a fuse. And that situation it was the fuse. But this, this situation is like totally different. It's not cranking, but, you know, all the lights and everything else works. So, I'm guessing at this point that it's um, the starter that's causing it, uh, considering that the starter on this car um, is the original starter that I've had. Um, that I've had. So um, I'm pretty sure it's the starter at this point. I mean, I can't really test it out any other way at this point, besides guessing that it is the starter, seeing as how I ruled out all, all the other stuff that could cause it, cause this situation. So I'm pretty sure it's the starter. Um, I did call AAA up and uh, pretty much I'm um, just waiting for AAA to um, come and, um, you know, to, to, to come and, you know, tow my car back so I could, you know, get the starter changed up. If it is the starter, but I'm pretty sure it's the starter and, uh, get you know, get, get myself back on the road again. But... All right, guys. So I was able to figure out what it was, and and it was my initial thought that it was a starter, and that was the problem. So I had uh, I had a towed, had a new starter popped in, and uh, it's turned on great without a problem. So it definitely was the starter. Um, I went out and I actually bought a brand new starter. I mean, the, the, you know. So I mean. I mean, I don't want to go on and on about starters and stuff like that, but I, you know, the the a refurbished starter is like 150, um, 150, to, you know, around 150, 175, and then the, the new starter is like 300, 325. But I actually put some money in the new starter because I've had issues with re refurbished um, starters and alternators and like that before. But I'm glad I got that worked out. Um, if you guys have any comments, um, any questions? Uh, you know, please leave your comments, questions. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe, guys. All right, take care.